Okay, we're going to present two brief cases, followed by discussions of the pathophysiology of iron absorption, uh, followed by therapy in, of uh, iron replacement, and then uh, we'll get back to these cases. The first gentleman is a 34-year-old male with a four-year history of moderate to severe ulcerative colitis who presents complaining of fatigue and palpitations. He denied increased uh, stool frequency or urgency or change in stool consistency. His abdominal pain, he denied abdominal pain, bleeding, or melano. He had recently been admitted for a course of IV steroids for his UC flare, but went into a remission, and his follow-up colonoscopy demonstrated a Mayo score of zero. He had been treated with uh, azathioprine. His prior history was significant for GERD. Uh, he was a non-smoker, uh, occasional alcohol use, denied use of non-steroidal drugs. Weighed 80 kilos, his BMI was 24.7, and his current medications included lanzoprazole and azathioprine. His initial evaluation included a white count of 8,000, hemoglobin of 11, hematocrit 33%, slightly high platelet count, slightly low MCV, MCHC, and a reticulocyte count of 1.2%. Subsequent studies demonstrated a serum ferritin of 18, transferrin of 257, which calculated to a 12% saturation, his iron binding capacity was 375 with a serum iron of 45 and a CRP that was 1.5. We'll come back to discussion of uh, therapy for him, as I said, at the end. The next patient is a 26-year-old woman with a history of ileal Crohn's disease who is one year status post an ileocecal resection for stricturing disease, who presents with fatigue and paresthesias. She denied increased frequency, urgency, change in stool consistency, abdominal pain, hematochesia, or melana. She had been treated prophylactically with azathioprine and metronidazole postoperatively. She had non-erosive GERD as well. She was a graduate student, non-smoker, uh, again, not an alcohol user or an NSAID user. Uh, she weighed 60 kilos with a BMI of 21. Her medications also included azathioprine and metronidazole. We're in the non-biologic uh, period for this patient. Uh, she was also on a probiotic and an oral contraceptive. She had a colonoscopy that demonstrated ulceration just limited to the anastomotic ring but her proximal ileum appeared normal, and there were no other lesions in the colon. Her white count was 4,500, hemoglobin 9, hematocrit 26%, platelet count of 250,000. Her MCV was 88, and her MCHC 30, with a low reticulocyte count. Her serum ferritin was 7. Her transferrin was 257. She had 12% iron saturation with her TIBC and a serum iron, as you can see, and her CRP was also within the normal range. And we will talk about uh, further evaluation for this individual and how we might approach her in the future.